Well, hello. Thank you for watching my video. And uh, I guess I should say, don't forget to subscribe and like below and all that kind of stuff. But I'm just gonna get right to my favorite uh, stories from Sundance. People always enjoy the story. So I hope you do too. Um, so Oliver Platt. Uh, first, I should mention, uh, he is 1.92 meters tall, which is like uh, six foot four. So he's, he's a tall guy. I'm five foot two. And, uh, and so I was there as a journalist at Sundance on a press pass. And um, the, it was time for what they call a round table uh, interview. So, uh, and, and <laughs> okay, Pieces of April was the movie. All right. And a round table interview is in this case, there were three tables and the, the three tables, uh, basically the journalists stay at the tables and the people we're interviewing rotate among the three tables. So you had like uh, the director and writer at one and then you had uh, Katie Holmes and Derek Luke at another and then you had um, Patricia Clarkson and Olivia Platt. Olivia, <laughs> Oliver Platt, thank you. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and so uh, they'd ring the bell or whatever, and it was time and they would, they would rotate around. And so uh, it's, it's in some kind of conference room at one of the hotels at Sundance, uh, which in case you don't know, when I say Sundance, I'm talking about the film festival, which is in Utah uh, every year. It's, it's one of the largest uh, film festivals and most prestigious. Uh, so, okay. So I see the movie. No, I hadn't seen the movie yet. <laughs> Pieces of April because the timing that it was at, I had other interviews or I had to screen a different movie. I did see the movie, uh, before I wrote my story, but I hadn't seen the movie before the round table. And, and so all I knew is that I, I was, I had to be at this, uh, conference room at a particular time and and so I I'm in the lobby and I'm getting ready to to go up to this conference room and who's in the lobby but Oliver Platt and I love this guy you know he's he's basically kind of known as a character actor uh, he doesn't usually have the lead role he's usually the supporting actor uh, and you might remember him more recently from, I think it was that disaster movie, uh, 2012, where the whole world like floods and there are these new arcs that were built in some mountain in China under the pretense of a dam. Um, and he's the bad guy in that. And that was a pretty significant role. But again, it still would be a supporting role. Uh, anyway, so I see him in the lobby and I go up to him and I'm like, oh, I just like to say that I enjoy your acting so much and everything he goes oh that's so nice of you of course he's like looking down at me because he's so tall and, and, and so he's like what's your name and I'm like oh my name is uh Miriam Arthur and he's like oh you're on my list and I'm like going what I'm on Oliver Platt's list what list is this what you know and uh, it turns out that because he was one of the people for the round table he had a list of all the press that was invited and uh, and so he's got this like clipboard and he's holding it which is normal for him which is very high for me so I'm standing on my tippy toes kind of going oh, 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 trying to look at like what is my name on his list you know, uh, it was quite crazy. And uh, so then we walked up together to the room and uh, proceeded as normal. But uh, <clears throat> that's a very fond memory. I, I don't know if Oliver Platt remembers that at all. I mean, I'm sure he has like so many encounters all the time, but uh, certainly one of my favorite, uh, favorite stories of that year in 2003 at Sundance. And uh, if you haven't seen the movie Pieces of April, it is very good. 
So I highly recommend finding it and watching it. So, all right, that is the Sundance story about Oliver Platt. Have a great day and see you next time.